Well, he lost the point, but a bit of a statement being made to Tsitsipas in terms of what Federer feels about his second serve. Nothing wrong with it, is there? 200 k's an hour on the first one. Good leg bend. He's a tall young man. About six foot four. Oh. Another one, like Federer, with a platform serve, just pushing straight up into it. Just wanders a bit, Fitzy, with his serve at times with the ball toss. You watch him at the end of that last one, which he missed. I mean, you just see how he falls to the left. Don't be surprised if Federer gets him a bit behind him a few times like that. But the defense was just so crucial here early in the point to stay in it till he could turn the tables. Sometimes we just lose that perspective of Federer's game. Yeah. Well, the great players generally defend incredibly well. Can't afford to have that facet of their game missing. Not if, not if they're going to be great. If he wraps it on the frame and it drops short across court to the Federer forehand, he'll get into trouble. He's, he, he needs to start hitting that cleanly. Let's put him in the cellar a little bit here in the opening game. Yeah, and it looks as though he's come out here with a tactic to attack the forehand of Federer early on. And perhaps try and create a bit of space into the backhand side. Time that violation. Warning, Mr. Sibas. That's been done before as he gets a, an early warning here. Oh. Federer just wandering in there. I think he thought maybe he'd lost his first serve already. an awful lot in this opening game for two. Yes, a bit nerve-wracking too when you get caught at the back of the court facing a break point against Roger and you're you're in a 50-50 proposition from the back of the court. Your heart would be in your mouth trying to save your serve. away with that but that is dangerous advantage to see pass. I mean to hit that ball into the Federer forehand he's lucky trying to Juice. attack the forehand so interesting tactic I'm not sure if I would advise him to do that or not Mark oh. got to be brave might open up the court to attack the backhand though there's a undeniable logic about it but whether it's ultimately going to be successful or not well I think there's questions surrounding it one of the best forehands. Time violation. Ever. Loss of serve. Mr. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So. Hey, he can't. He can't complain about it. Although I suppose the one argument. 
So it's a double fault. Advantage Federer. So that's, that hurts him. He's, he's taking too long. And this is all this new learning curve for him here on the centre court. Should just throw the ball up. When he sees it get into three, throw it up, they stop the clock. It's going a little pear-shaped, this Board game, isn't it, potentially? Because if, 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 if this is out, he's going to have to hit a second serve, as in the previous point, after a, after a halt in play. I don't think Fed can believe it. Fed feels as though he had a play on this, clearly. It was not late. Okay. I put the ball with the ratchet and then the It's in the whole movement. What do you want me to tell you? I think you have a bad conscience that you gave the guy two ones. That's why you're doing it. That's my thing. That are feeling as though James Gjothavon there is uh, feeling a bit guilty about the two time violations that he's given him already. Advantage to I mean, I don't know how close Roger was. I'd need to see it again, Mark, because because that ball touched the outside of the line. It's hard to believe he would have had a play on it, Roger. This is some opening game. We could write a thesis on it. <laughs> you could. <laughs> How good was that pick up there from Federer? Still hasn't lost a step of speed. Yeah, and he's a little off balance and just struggling here. The, the moment is certainly getting to Stefanos a little bit too. He's. Oh, okay. There's a good one. Uh, you certainly timed that forehand better. He'll do well to survive this first game. And then give himself an even playing field then in the first set. Survive he does. But he's given us a lot of talking points already. Backhand of Sitsipas, is it good enough yet? Uh, it's a good out. question. He, he loves the cross court backhand three. He doesn't really get rushed that much on it. He does pull it cross court very well, so he, he doesn't mind that. So I think it will hold up okay. I actually think his forehand is probably a little bit more errant at the moment. Although Federer with a very good record against one-handed backhands in Grand Slam play. 84 wins, 11 losses. Most of those 11 losses came early on in his career. The likes of Rafter, Kareccia, a couple of times, Tommy Haas, Max Mirny, and of course, Lewis Horner, who uh, will always remain a part of the trivia question, really, when it comes to Federer's career, because he lost to him in the opening round in, at the French Open. And Roger always credits that loss as the reason why he went on to win Wimbledon in 2003. He felt as though he came in there playing well, was a bit complacent. Scintillating point. One game more. 
We're certainly going to see some athleticism, aren't we? One of the great serves of all time. See how long me. he looks down the court at that right at the start of that. Mm -hmm. Even though ball's out of his hand, he's still looking at his opponent. It's tough to cheat on Roger. Not as big as the great Pete Sampras as a serve, but close. Yeah. Would well, you? I think. Would you take Sampras? I take over Pete's this? first serve, and I take Roger's second. Okay. Fifteen love. Second serve. That is not. I take Roger's second no. So I take Sampras's first serve, Federer's second serve. Some of that too to do with his plus one, I guess, as well for Federer in terms of his numbers that he makes. I always think they're very similar, but Pete's was just a bit faster. Such a different era as well. Yeah, I mean, Roger's record on second serves far superior in terms of points one than Sampras's. Would that be because he's? A bit better from the back of the court. Yeah, I think serving and bowling, you're you know coming in all the time. I think people were able to, yeah, a little bit more vulnerable. Absolutely. This is going to be good though. This has got the makings of some super athletic play here in this matchup. Possibly a, a little bit of a preconceived plan from Federer too. That's a couple of times he's tried to rush Sitsipas on his backhand wing. Get the sense that he's done that twice. On the opening point, Chip Charles came in, and then there, it almost he feels as though Sitsipas's second serve is a is a big, is very flat and pure. And if he picks it up, he can just drive straight through it. Stefanos his father. Sitsipas survives the scare in his opening service game. Sitsipas and comes through the second one relatively comfortably. Sitsipas leads by two games to one. Fifteen. Left. Imagine that Sitsipas has used a fair bit of nervous energy here in the early stages. I mean, that, that first game would have been taxing, stressful. Oh. Fed looks relaxed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How talented is that? I think I saw you do that once. That's right. Yeah. Pitch. yeah. On an ice rink by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. What a what a talented shot that was. He had to stretch wide off the other foot and just adapted the racket face at the last second to compromise the volley. The nuances of his talent. And the evolution of it as well. I don't remember him really sliding all that much when he first came on tour. Very front on, isn't he? On that backhand, that one hander. Interesting to see just how often he tries to tuck him up into the body. He's got some big swings on the return, Sitsipas. Let's for service. I think into the body is a, a big play because he'll drop a lot of balls short than Sitsipas, I would think, off that one hander. He's got to be careful of that, I think.
Petit different strategies on the second serve here Federer coming in behind it dropping deep trying to run round his back end Two different things. No, no, no. And the serve was the, si the same speed. The, the, the call didn't hinder your shot. Are you going to challenge the, the serve or not? If not, then it's point to Roger. Challenge. Mr. Tsitsipas is challenging the call on the service line. The ball's caught in. So James Giothafong Gyo challenged with a few technical issues early, isn't he? Say that again. So it's through the line. There was a call. The question is whether the call upset the return of serve. I would have thought that he's got a good argument. Is this a pass? Yeah. I think Roger had a good argument. James, uh, I think it's very hard for the umpires in that situation. I'd love to send it up to the video replay with audio. You get a, a better sense. Give the umpires a, a little bit of a chance there to uh, review it. Yeah correctly well it's a split second it's a nanosecond you know all of that you know does it you know does it really interfere when you, you're already playing your shot that's the question and it's 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 a technical call I think anyway wonderful volley from Federer Simplicity at its best. There was a sense of appeasement attached to the decision as well, given what happened on the break point in the opening game as well, where Federer found himself in a very similar situation. That's ironic because Fed accused him of appeasing the other way, Mark. Oh, good forehand there. He's, he's quick for a big guy, isn't he? He's, he's got a quick turn of speed. That's what the modern players need. I tell you, if you've got a very quick first step, it goes a long way to giving you a chance in a lot of these matches. You've got to be able to back it up, but the, the speed, very important. He's got it. He's got the speed off the ground as well. Timing's there. Yes. He's dynamic. And he's dangerous. Federer, a juice on his serve. Advantage Federer. Roger serves that wide one as good as anyone that's ever played the game. It's 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 like an ice man when he serves that wide near the line. On. 
talks about his record against one handers in the majors, but since he won Wimbledon in 2003, he's a quite epic 81 match wins and just the four losses just, against just Stan. One of them to Stan. It's the uh, it's Prime the Minister. Prime Minister of Australia there. Scott Morrison. Scott Morrison. To his right, Jane Hurdlicker. And to her right, Gillian McLaughlin, the CEO of the AFL here in Australia. Is he having as much fun as our Prime Minister? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I, I'm not qualified to judge him. that, Mark. I would hazard a guess he's having a bit more fun. Would it be a form of fun? Brexit? No. No, just being Prime Minister. <laughs> Good point. Well made. The youngster's tying himself pretty well here. The uh, other one-handers to have beaten Federer in that time since he won Wimbledon. Gustavo Kirton on the uh, red brick clay courts of Roland Garros. 49. Stan Wawrinka, as you said, also in the same location. Tommy Robredo at the US Open. And Stokowski, of course, back in 2013. Ah, oh, a little flare Sitsipas. there from Sitsipas. is right. Since a pass was four years old when Federer won his first Wimbledon. How does that make you feel fed? Both the two trained in the pre-season in Dubai. Not at the same location, I have to say, in terms of the, the clubs that we were practicing at, but uh, they were both in the same uh, area, vicinity. He's not, he's not at his peak at the beginning here, is he, Roger? A few odd mistakes from, from him by his normal standards. Thank you. Finding his backhand just a tiny bit of a dilemma, uh, an enigma. Because at the first one, that one was a miss hit. He wrapped it around the frame. The quickness of his athleticism pulling him up gave him a chance to make the cross court. He hits that one much more cleanly, cleanly, going backwards. It's an odd shot in some ways. I think he's just prone to hitting it a little short too, Mark. It's a lot of work on it. Yeah. He gets a little front on, he brushes across the ball, it drops short, and when he does this, he's going to lose a lot of points if he drops it short. Because. Come on. Yeah. I'm talking against a player like Fed who can hurt Pull you. Himself. With that sh if, if he receives a short ball in the middle of the court, he'll use his forehand to really hurt you. So that's something I think Sitsipas needs to watch here. Do 
chatted a little bit to Roger after the match at Holman Cup, and he was definitely impressed with uh, what he felt on his side of the court coming from City Pass. And a winter there, in the, uh, just behind the players' box. There's a Vogue in a big Fed fan. So these new balls fly, they were new last game. They fly a little bit more. Fed changed his racket to get a tighter restring. There she is. Not sure even she could salvage your wardrobe, Fitzy. <laughs> I mean your stuff's so old, it's come back into fashion three times. Yeah, no, not three times. I, I wouldn't have thought in a public forum you would start to say this stuff, Mark. Mark. <laughs> it just seems You're pretty topical. Happy. You're pretty happy with yourself. No, it just you? seemed topical, that's all. <laughs> oh. I won't bring up those cardigans again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny, actually. Thank you. Swing and a miss. And it's a far cry from the start of this set where he was uh, exerting a lot of pressure already on the Sitsa Pass serve. Still recovering from the cardigan accusation. summation after nearly a set here on the back end is that the, the single hander of sits a pass is maybe not hit quite as cleanly as feds yet but gee it's effective he, he it's going to be a good shot isn't it He knows how good that was. Either on the line or just inside the line on both wings. Opening set, isn't it? Just how pivotal will it be? It feels as though it has a lot more value for Sitsipas at this stage of his career. Federer understandably won't panic even if he drops the opening set. I mean, it's good to be thinking about versatility, but 
realism has to kick in. This was a tough shot. He was inside, but the ball was low. The end result was poor. Good job off his plus one shot of uh, keeping Federer on the move, cutting down his time to produce anything effective against him. Fourteen, fifteen, serving pretty well too. Three aces. Federer's two. A lot of unreturned serves here off the sits a pass serve. Very effective in the first set. Presence of mind to keep that racket face in the right direction. Zizi Pretty Zizi incredible Zizi effort. Six games to five. Gee, lucky he didn't hit his head there on the on the surface. By the way, that's commitment. Saved by the hair. Fifteen. Maybe for posterity. Maybe for historical context to say that. Uh, City Pass was here and pushed the six time Australian Open champion. Oh. He's been uh, unhappy with a couple of decisions by James Gothevon. I'm sure that didn't have any malice intended to it. going to be an entertainer isn't he there's no doubt about it he's he's got shot selection versatility bit of star power too he's still a long way away from up causing an upset here but the future is going to be good thing about him is that he's free to roam you know his father has definitely allowed him a, a license to thrill if you like and uh, with that comes certainly enjoyable tennis for the fans and difficult to counter as well if he does it effectively Severin Lutu wasn't in the Cup Tiger. out of his chair, just uh, giving Federer a little chair. extra encouragement here. Oh. That is some swashbuckling tennis from City Bus. This backhand has my attention because it, it, it always seems to me like he either mishits it or he hits it late. But he makes it. Uh. 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 
I certainly did miss it. That City Pass Jesus. makes no mistake with the opportunity that presented itself. difficulty factor there was high controlling that ball over the high part of that he was almost running through that backhand he's got our attention I think and I bet he's got Rogers attention here Awesome for two guys that floundered away at the net years ago, Pets, to see that. That's just special. Pure talent, hand eye coordination made an incredibly difficult volley look simple. And he needed to do it, by the way, with the scoreline. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Please. That is a big serve by Federer's standards. Not quite as fast as the night, but he doesn't often uh, tick the speedometer up to 200 k's. Petra, for me, this is where the question is asked. This, this is the moment of the first set. We've sort of been waiting for. Oh. When he got the first part of the multi choice, multiple choice questionnaire right, didn't he? That was a a very, very solid response here. of English come-ons from Federer changes uh, his language and he changes the scoreboard in his favor and I think when he uses his own language it means more he knew how important this point was ladies and gentlemen as a courtesy to both players please no calling out during the rally thank you airborne and elegant Made a very early move on that second serve, didn't he, as well, to get it on his forehand.
Old faithful. Six. I'm talking about the serve. That's the one he wants, isn't it? And that's why it's so difficult to play, because there's not often a lot of patterns to his serving. Three all, beak down the tee. Five all, swings it out wide. Set point, Federer. Still nothing to choose between the two of them. Six all. Well, he's multi-dimensional for sure, this youngster. Good foot speed to close there, which made that volley easy. Anxiety there for the champ. Seven six. Do you miss hits creeping into Federer's forehand here? You don't often see that. has walked to the other side so if this is out there's going to be a massive delay for Federer to hit his next serve Seven and I do think players need to be careful in doing that Mr. Zizipas has two challenges remaining first serve when he got that mini break at 5-4 but he's found it since and once again Federer with an opportunity to take this opening set It's a pass. The return looks as though it had done enough damage to win Federer the point. Well, his athleticism and the standard he's played at in this first set, I think is drawing a few more errors than normal from Federer. He's missed some ordinary shots by his standards here. It's given the young Greek a chance. Masses to deal with because when you brush your racket strings across the ball to hit it out to the forehand wing of the right hander, things can go wrong with that. It's a safer ball to hit away the smash. This one to hook it from right to left is fraught with a little bit of danger. So brave. 
Oh, yeah. What, what presence of mind there. I mean, that, that is not a, as easy a shot to hit as coming over the foyer and hitting a, driving a ground stroke, is it, Pitch? But he, he saw how deep Sitsipas was there after the return. That's delightful. And a shot many years ago he felt was a bit of a joke. He didn't like playing forehand drop shots, but has learnt it to try and counter the likes of Nadal. And it helps him here. Set point. Sitsipas of staying in rallies. There would be other players at 20 years of age who would be trying to snap off a quick winner. Not bide their time and allow Federer to miss. Mr. Federer is challenging the ball on the right service line. The ball's got in. Well, we talk about his forehand two being one of the greatest of all time. He's made 12 errors off his forehand here for a total of 15 in the first set. Sits a pass. He's made a total of eight. So his forehand's been below par, Roger, and that's why he's in trouble here, really. 11 10, Sits pass. Mr. Federer has three challenges remaining. that return to to pass and he can dip it quickly at your feet and I guess maybe just an indicator that he's not feeling so comfortable and secure off the ground that he felt the need to do that Let's Let's Fitzy, whether we're seeing the value of attacking his forehand so much in the opening part of this match from the 20 year old. Maybe you're right. Worth thinking about it for sure. Because it's been below par, hasn't it? He's got an awfully lofty standard on that forehand, by the way. Sitsipas sarcastically putting the thumbs up to the person in the crowd that called out. Fifteen yeah, playing at this level for one set is one thing. Playing for three more sets at that level is another. Serve in the second. Second sets. Fifteen. 
and it has its origins, of course, in how he started off his career because he was an out and out serve and volleyer at Wimbledon for a couple of years, first and second serve. So, uh, practiced it a lot in his early part of his career, which is something that the players coming through these days simply aren't because they don't have to. Knowledgeable volley there. That was an under slice forehand, like a squash forehand from Federer to keep this ball alive. And the the spin will take this ball down into the net if you're not aware of it. He just opened the face enough there. Sits a pass. Sensed that it was going to go into the net if he didn't open the face. Just made it. Tipped the net. 49. Good natural mover through the volley as well. Sits a pass, isn't he? He doesn't stomp and play the volley. Federer. Big lover of the game of squash as well throughout the course of his life. He's Roger. Followed it, yeah, followed it, played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 nice. even played it on his days off of tournaments. One game more. Might get my buddy Chris Dittmar to come and have a game with him. Just a little name dropper there, mate. Number one in the world, he was. Back in the 80s. A few Brits at the top of the ranking now, I think. Well, that's how you volley also. <laughs> Just brushes the strings across this beautifully to take the speed off it. They're subtle things, aren't they, in tennis, but... But the great players have those subtleties in spades. Flash of brilliance. Well, different outcome to the one in the tiebreaker. He wasn't as balanced there, though. It's almost like he changed his mind. I don't think that's a normal play for him. His body weight was going backwards, made it harder to get the feel. It's an interesting play, though, and Sitsa Pass is annoyed with himself. He's been beaten a couple of times now by the surprise serve volley off the second ball. Getting ready just to hit a high, deeper return. Sees Federer coming in at the last second with his peripheral vision. Over compromises. Ball was on the way down, wasn't it? As yeah. Federer seals the game with an ace. It's easy. certainly would like to because I've spoken to him about it is when you just look at the way that he kind of falls off a little off balance with his first serve tough for him to make up the ground quickly there that was simple plenty of time to get in but you can oh. see there he almost goes backwards at times with that ball toss Help. 13 <laughs> You're in an ideal world, I think you're you know, be going forward into the ball a bit more than going left. Makes you a little vulnerable if, if you've got a great returner that can hit the ball into a, a small area. You can be caught with your body weight moving the wrong way. Oh. It's not perfect, is it? No. He still hits that second serve at 160, though, which is interesting. It's the one thing that Roger said after their match. 
at Holman Cup. You know, he's consistently, he's one of these guys, again, that consistently serves fast. So even though if he doesn't hit his spots all the time, it's just coming at you relentlessly. Well, we mentioned Pete Sampras earlier. He was renowned for a bit of that. A little bit of hot dog. Two games on. A little airtime. Yeah. Fun to watch. Subconsciously, there probably Federer more than anything went across court with that ball. It's so low here to get that from low to high over down the line is difficult because of the height of the net. Oh, Mr. Put... Federer is well, challenging the ball left to base side. He tends to hit that a bit, in. doesn't he? A block, really. I'm not sure he intended to hit the off one precisely there, but it, it just came off a little late. Good challenge by Federer. game and you just get a sense that maybe a little pressure will be exerted on Sitsipas here. Can a 20 year old find his first serve? Federer to uh, the Swiss Stars baseline that really set up that point for him. Well, you can understand Sitsipas's nerves at the beginning in that first game, can't you? I mean, it, it's to do with this whole occasion. But now, now that he's got his teeth into the match, he, he knows he belongs here. Got through that first couple of break points in the opening game. He's, I know he's down a set, but he's it's really it's in this match. He's he's on a par almost with Federer so far, and uh, that would give him a lot of belief, you would expect. Come on! Great point. 
point. First one we've seen since the opening game of the match for Federer. The approach wasn't deep enough, was it? I mean, direction okay, but Federer had time there to, to dip it. Mr. Sibas is challenging the call on the right service line. Obviously got an indication from his box that it was worthy of a challenge. I'm not sure it is. Someone needs spectacles. Impressed with how many backcourt rallies Sitsipas is winning. Mr. Sitsipas has keeping the ball in court at speed until Federer makes a few errors here. That's another one on the forehand wing for Roger. He competes well, doesn't he, from the back? And he can get away with a few bad shot selection because he's so quick, he can actually cover the ground. This one's a miss hit. I think it drops in, but that was luck if it did, because it was a miss hit off the frame. And through the air, I'm sure Sitsipas was thinking it's out. But it died, I think, on the line. If it misses, it's just, but I think it touches. But long. Wow. Okay. Well, the miss hit didn't drop as fast as we thought, or I thought. Advantage Sitsipas. Good challenge, and it saves him from another break point. It's unlucky. He Juice. really does move well at the net, doesn't he? I mean, he covers an awful lot of gap ground yeah. with just the one step. He's a serious athlete, isn't he? Six foot four, moves like this can has flexibility to get down low for that backhand volley. When he can do this for four hours, you've got to say he's a chance to win majors. Looking at this. Advantage, Federer. There is something still worrying me a little bit about his backhand. I haven't put my finger on it yet. I think it's just because he's too front on. Miss hits it too much. So fed with another break point. Oh. Oof, that was again Juice. great, but also smart. Well, he didn't look like he tried to hit that too hard mark, and it it was 169. That's a big second serve, and he looked like he did it serve within himself to get that speed. Good sign. Advantage to Tsipas. Love the way he competes doesn't really change his demeanor all that much. Well, that's a wild one. Where did that come from? Juice. Forced errors from that forehand wing. It's been good. Come here, Come on. There's 
that there's that German oh, come on again. Better. That means he's serious, Roger. Well, he's respectful of the challenge from the other end. No question. He got a sense of what was coming today from the Hopman Cup match. And he has been relentless in this game in pursuit of the break. Oh, he hesitated, Roger. He hesitated. And can't believe it. He tells himself, what was I thinking or doing? Well, I think he thought he, City Pass was going to hit a, a, a bigger volume, didn't he? I don't know, but he, he just hesitated here. Stopped. Probably would have made that ball, I think, if he was flat chat there. Advantage to City Pass. Just a K down on his fastest of the night. It's a pass in the context of this match. Three games Three setting zero. a break would be mm, not good from his point of view, but he hangs in there. His second set in the balance because of it. Oh, faithful. She hits the serve well. Obviously, the serve's impressive, but also his ability to bounce back from a bit of adversity in his own mind. Game. Yeah. Terrific game when you consider it. He probably feels as though he's missed an opportunity to make life easier for himself. doesn't get away with it. He played that a couple of times in the opening game of the match, actually. And that's a lower percentage play than going off. I don't like this play at all. Trying to approach to the forehand, especially when it's Federer's forehand. Why? You deserve that to happen to you. drop-off that Fed's Nothing been waiting so. for. The, the first approach to the forehand may be because he's young and hasn't learnt that percentage play yet, or that he is trying to attack the forehand of Federer, I'm not sure. But it was a mistake, he didn't hit the forehand well enough. He got burnt with the forehand, and this time the drop shot is out of nowhere. The wrong shot, I think. He's taking a risk here. I've also seen Fed miss that chip forehand return a bit tonight, and he doesn't normally. Oh, 
Mr. Federer is challenging the ball on the left near sideline. The ball scored in. And this is what I was talking about at the change of ends. He doesn't fade away, sits a pass. Even when you just think that maybe he's played a, a couple of shots that weren't the, the greatest, he figures out a way just to turn things around in his favour. Yeah, he's handled the big moments very well, hasn't he? You've got to hand it to him. to enjoy in that rally. Yeah. You're right, Pitch. You know, as a tennis lover, it brings joy, doesn't it? It really does. And I think uh, Sitsipas is going to bring a fair bit over the years as well. Backbone, more importantly. There's a defiance behind the silence. He's had to work hard, as you can see here in the second set on serve. Telling stat actually, well over four minutes on average for the duration of since a to serve in the second set. Fed was less than two minutes. Looks like a bad error, but again, I'm going to just tip my hat to the 20-year-old. Uh, the fact is that he moves and defends the net, arguably as well as anybody else at the moment on tour, that Federer felt that he had to be a little more precise with the pass. Juice. The serve is under siege. I love all court tennis. Just love it. There's a tiny bit of a throwback about him, isn't there? That's unlucky. It is unlucky. I just don't have sympathy for him. Not when he approaches to that Federer forehand like that and runs in. Sympathy goes out the window for me. 
you can't hit, you can't come in against that fine, can you? That's just suicidal. At the same time, you can't always come into the backhand as well, can you? Well, if you get the guy stretching, you've got a lot better chance, I think. Oh, can I rest my case? <laughs> you can. Advantage to Tipos. It's just so that you can cover the angles a bit better when you do this against a right-hander. Against a left-hander, it's a bit different. But but the fact that he's gone to the forehands forced Federer to be a little more central. Can't right. just guess to his backhand side. I accept that. Fitzy a little too cavalier at the moment, these approaches to net. I'm loving it, you're loving it, and the crowd's enjoying the tussle out there, but you just wonder if he's going to get picked off in a second. Well, he's, he's coming in a lot, isn't he? I wonder if that's a sign he's feeling the heat a bit here. You could understand if he is. It certainly creates good action. what it is he's just okay. starting to struggle a little bit to stay with fit for this long it's an hour and 36 minutes now another break point this one is huge it will allow Federer to serve for the second set if he if he loses this point Again, wow, gets away with it. Juice. <laughs> How can you not like him? Advantage to t with that slightly heroic look, a proud father. And of course, his mother actually just out of the player's box to the right, Julia, who was a, a wonderful player in her day for the Soviet Union. Different era, though, back then, back in the 80s. One of the best junior players in the world and, uh, well, certainly passed on the genes to this 20-year-old. He's, he's approaching, that last approach shot was from a long way back too, so he's approaching more and more, isn't he? Which surprises me a little bit because he's been so good from the back of the court and, and been standing up to Federer from back there. But something is possessing him to come forward a lot more all of a sudden. Oh. I mean, 
this has been an absolute right clinic. Although City Pass has gone back to the juice side here, feeling as though this is just missed. <laughs> this has been an amazing set. I think mean, City Pass has one challenge remaining. Again, whipping Federer through a service game. Back he is, up a net. This is good. This it's is, this is engaging. But he, he's getting away with it. And th these passing shots by its Federer's fe standard, I don't think are as difficult as he normally handles. I think, I think it's strange how he's missing some of these. Certainly giving Roger a target. Fifteen all. Spent a bit of time on his own last year. So he was just 19 years of age just to uh, take stock of where he was in his tennis career. Gotcha. Came back refreshed, energized with a new perspective. Decided that this is what he wanted to do with his life, be the best he could be as a tennis player. And he had a terrific last two thirds of 2018. Again there, you just look at the ball toss, sending him backwards. forward to the next 10 years he's a find he's a treasure and that's, that's how Federer has been that's just fed I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> he's got another 10 years in him. <laughs> let's hope so no, I'm talking about the youngster as well here gee this is good not a good situation though for the 20 year old set point down Well, once again, a familiar response. Yes. And he's done it every which way with the serve, with his forehand, backhand at the net, just keeping Federer at bay for the time being. Wait, please. Feds back to English, it's a pretty serious situation here. You'd think he'd still be come on in his native language, but uh, he wants this here. This break and this set is on the line. It was 
a thin corridor of success he was trying to exploit there. Sets a pass. And Federer had given it to him. It was uh, a difficult shot to make at the best of times, let alone when you've already saved a couple of set points. A third one now beckons. Trading blows with one of the best forehands in the world. Sits a pass. And in the forehand department, he's probably out, he's probably coming out on top. Just. Which is saying something. We want after that forehand, but but Federer's had 16 unforced errors on the forehand. Sits a pass eight, and they are trading blows. Federer with slightly more winners, 11 to seven. Inside in forehand took them wide of the line, but Federer had to guard against it. He couldn't get it on the backhand side, and Tsitsipas came inside out, closed the net down beautifully. The beauty, not just of their play, but of the scoring system as well. The toing and throwing. I know there's much chatter and talk about shortening matches and quickening things up but you lose a bit of the soul of the sport when you change the scoring system too much some character oh, yeah. from the 14th seed there. Yeah, that was one heck of a hold right there. Fucking so. You need to be careful in the sport as well. Doesn't want to get lulled into part of the instant gratification that we seem to need in society at the moment. That was a, a game and a half. needed a sword to create his legend Roger a racket how did he wield that there Roger. 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 okay so the shoelace of sits a pass has torn he needs to make a change a change of shoes that's from all the sliding yep Now, it would surprise me if he doesn't change both shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, shoelaces are broken. <laughs> well, that's not abnormal because all of the sliding they do here on this hard court now, their foot's on an angle and, it, and, it, and the lace makes contact with the, with the court surface, which can tear it to shreds, by the way. Yeah. You know what it does to your kneecap if you come down on it? But I'm surprised he's only he's changing one shoe. So he's got an odd pair on now. <laughs> they are pretty pretty <laughs> similar fits here, I think. <laughs> well, well the amount of sliding he's done here for nearly two hours pitch. 
You'd think the tread would be gone on one of them. No, I'm kidding. Federer serving. There's been a, a little bit of a momentum change here, only for the fact that Federer is serving his games much quicker. Struggled all set 13. for a much longer period of time in his own service games. Doesn't mean he's not going to win the set, though. But he's certainly working harder. And it has to take a cumulative toll, doesn't it? That is now Rogers 26 point on serve. In this second set, to pass 57 points, more than double. Credit to the Australian Open for sticking true to their values and principles about the sport that they put in a, a court surface and conditions that you can play this type of tennis and be rewarded. Right for City Pass, who's had to struggle and strive to succeed to hang on to his serve in this second set. Both players receive one additional challenge. A real Philip ahead of this second set tiebreaker. Dangerous level for Roger. to open up a lead against Federer, who's had eight break points, of course, in this second set. She sits a very uh, confident. 
He was confident. He dropped the ball, walked across the other side. Yeah. He's got an eye like a hawk. If he knew that was in. Mr. Federer has two challenges remaining. <laughs> Australia's Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Three one. Three, one. To see this. He's a bundle of energy, isn't he? Closing in on a couple of hours against Federer, but he still looks pretty lively out here. Appreciate that call. Nothing James Fiotavon can do about that. They have to replay the point. 3 1. He'll be feeling it's terrible, that lines person. Hey, there's room for compassion here. But, yep. But uh, everyone makes mistakes. Oh, yeah. That, that, that could have a huge effect here. First serve, Federer. person will be thanking his lucky stars that Fed won that point. Well, a sense of justice, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just a tight call, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't. shouldn't have been a hard one to call that one. Ball was just chipped slowly through the air, and let's move on, I guess. Mini break still there. Seen that smile a couple of times from Sitsipas tonight, Petch. He, it's it's not a it's not a grimace. It's a smile, but he's just that's just an acknowledgement of how good that was from Federer. Just totally changed the backswing as well, didn't he? Totally abbreviated it. Just a little flick of genius down the line. Might have got a touch lucky with a return because that landed on the paint. There was nothing lucky about that. That was a lifetime of creating and taking opportunities. Parity again. Federer and not missing. And that's just a start you know, of what we've seen tonight from him. The variety, the net rushing, the volleying, the agility, all that athleticism. Too good. He deserves this set the way he's going, sits a pass. This is outstanding.
Set all pitch. City pass. Two points in a row against the Federer serve. Wow. <laughs> we might even find out more tonight than we bargained for. Set a piece. Love the team. Federer's wealth will certainly come to the fore here. Not the material wealth that he's generated over 120 million dollars, of course, in prize money, but his wealth of experience in these moments. <laughs> Trying to settle back down very quickly, play the percentages, hoping for a little bit of a drop off from his uh, younger, less experienced opponent. Oh. And he may just get that. As we see his mum, Julia, went into the forehand, early doors in this match. Back behind Federer. Gee, the perseverance of that net rushing is, is paying off, isn't it? Consistently. Sort of rushing Roger a little bit on the backhand wing now. Oh. 
14. He's come in a few times off that second serve, hasn't he, during the match? With success, mainly. This time, the return, too good. Dipping at his ankles. the first serve and volley point he's lost of the evening, that one that dipped at his feet. Seven of eight for Federer. But still, both of them perfect on serve. Federer not system. sure. No, I think Ball's it's good. This one. You think it's? I thought it was. Fed. I think Roger thought it was. It was an interesting ball toss. Look at Sitsipas here. First step going back. He's missed it. Oh, he's missed it. How are my eyes going? Yeah, his body weight really throws to the left, doesn't it? Touchy love. I know. Mr. Sitsipas one of the great two in history, yeah. but. It hasn't been at its very best tonight, Federer's forehand. A lot of unusual errors. You just expect him to make that shot. goes patience is an action as well and he is just biding his time here at the moment Federer before you feel he will get his reward unquestionably it's a mental challenge as much as a talent one out here against Tsitsipas that those chances have come and gone the ability to be up two sets to love is now lost seeing here pitch and, uh, and it's a serious question are, are we seeing the birth of another great a, champion a, a moment yeah a moment in time 15 yeah. we saw Federer beat Pete Sampras at Wimbledon you mentioned it earlier in the evening who knows ended up being a defeat though that prompted him to become the champion that we now know that Lewis Horner defeat at the French Open was the one that opened his eyes to how he needed to be and he went on and promptly won Wimbledon in 2003. Oh. The win against Sampras perhaps heralded in too much pressure 
on his shoulders. The expectation at that stage maybe just came a little early. Maybe a loss here tonight. Even if it's close for City Pass, may not be a good, a bad thing because it may shield him from that expectation for another 12 months when maybe physically, mentally, he's ready to take on the mantle of being one of the best players in the world. Yeah, but if he's got a choice, he doesn't want to wait 12 no. months. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it now. Granted, that's not how he's thinking. <laughs> he feels he is ready. And with shots like this, he probably is. course of a match there's all there's a lot of big moments you know when big moments arrive for Federer and we've just seen one at 30 all there it, we we just take it for granted he's going to get that first serve in play a, a winner you know it just rolls along they're all big moments Let's Let's go. Go. so second nature to him This is out. He didn't see that one properly, did he? he? He really was genuine about the fact he thought that was out. He looks at his box saying, how, how did I miss that? Two games, uh, one challenge. You know, Roger hasn't hit that many aces tonight by his standards nine same as his opponent sits a pass but normally at this stage Federer you know after two hours and 22 minutes he would have more than that this guy returns well too he's reading his serve pretty well That was that chip. That was that shot there that was deliberate to take the pace off it and get the ball low to Federer. He might be the complete package. Beautiful chip there to get the ball to dip. See, all of that clean living for all of these years gives Roger those shots, you know? A little bit of luck when it matters. That's a big piece of luck. You never know. It might just be the catalyst for him to go on and get a break. It's not feasible to hit a winner from there. Middle of the court, that was decent depth. I know your vocabulary is better than mine, but I, I've run out of superlatives. I'm relying on you here, Mark. Oh! <laughs> well, disappointment will be coming your way. <laughs> complex exchanges between these two. Just the full array of shots. Well, at this stage, if my thoughts would be if Sitsipas can physically stay here for the distance, this is a toss of the coin.
love team. Well, he's absolutely asking the question now, isn't he? I mean, Federer, for all his talent, hasn't been able to shake him free. Get rid of the shackles of this youngster. Fifteen. Big mistake. 15, 15, he's too casual there, Roger. More of those big moments we talked about. when you've had very few awkward moments in a match it's difficult to produce your best to keep an opponent at bay Tsitsipas has been having to defend a lot of break points in this match 10 so far <laughs> Federer yet to face a break point <laughs> pretty quickly on that window of opportunity for Tsitsipas. It's an amazing get, it has to be said by the 20 year old. What a slide! with a little bit of luck on the return it drops awkwardly but see how Federer took a step inside the baseline to cover all angles there and had the presence of mind just to flick the wrist with that backhand volley straight at the body another small window of opportunity for Federer Turn short, making Sitsipas come forward. 
and he comes inside the court again. Constantly thinking of how to get through his opponent. Thank you. Is this the first breaker serve of the night? Gave himself a 50-50 chance there to get back in the point. Or he was back in the point to give himself that equal opportunity. And again, the forehand lets him down at a big moment. Off the frame, you could see in slow motion, just hitting the bottom of the frame. saves he didn't fall into the web that Federer was trying to weave there for a second time in the game he was alert he was conscious of the threat and the threat was averted for now an indication that Federer is trying to find a different way to beat this youngster. What he what he's had in the tank so far hasn't managed to get on top of him. Now he's trying other stuff, which is a sign that he's worried. Entertainment, you get utopia. <laughs> How about that? He's only 20 years old, this late. <laughs> He's got every trick in the book, I think. Not bad for a 37 year old as well. I think if Sitsipas goes the distance, if this goes five sets, this will be the toughest physical test he's ever had. You, you would imagine in his in his young career. So for me, that still remains the question: Can he go all the way at this level? Let's go! This is just <laughs> sensational sport. Get used to this face.
know, it's rare. It's a rare thing that when Federer is in a, a backcourt rally, that he may not be favourite to win. It's it's probably 50-50. But for me, there's like an equal feeling that Sitsipas is going to win the, the ground stroke <laughs> rally. Fifteen thirty once or twice, but love thirty is a rarity. And now the door is a little bit ajar for the youngster. Do no wrong at the moment, sits a pass. Thank you. He's seeing the ball like a football, isn't he? And that first step of speed is certainly still there. Well, it was no more than half a chance, but it was a chance. First break point of the night for sits a pass. It's taken him two hours and 40 minutes to achieve it. Not only is he good, he perseveres. Jeez. Well, two huge points there. I mean, still no break of serve. It's a battle of wills. Patrick Moritoglu in the front of your picture there, who has helped out the Tsitsipas uh, family. That's where Stefanos spends a lot of his time training down there in Nice. to appreciate his endeavors. He came in so much in the second set, he managed to stave off the break points, but you could just see there, Federer having to have a look up to see if Sitsipas was coming in again. It's got him thinking. young age he has the ability to run through that runs through the forehand with accuracy Let's 
second service. Luck again for Roger. I mean, he premeditated that approach shot. The serve was so deep that it made it awkward for him, and he needed a bit of luck here because he only just could control that chip approach. like a good play at that particular time to uh, just try and impact proceedings a little bit but it's all down to the execution game to see us to see the side of the scoreboard ticks over once again 5-4 in the third set of piece five games to four. to be six foot four and move like this. He's really a prototype of the modern type of player, isn't he? Body shape wise. Oh. Yeah, the nice thing about him though, he's uh, very much an all-court player though as well. He's uh, gonna have the big serve, but as we've seen from tonight, we're gonna get some exquisite exchanges with other players as well. He loves his forays into the forecourt. He'd like to serve and volley a little bit more, and you kind of feel that will come when he starts sorting out his ball toss and being able to get into the net efficiently and quickly. on the right of your picture there it's a fitness trainer on the road yeah Meganini of course who has uh, done such a, a phenomenal job with Federer over the years to keep him relatively injury free and certainly from the amateur eye doesn't seem to have lost a step and he can't afford to five games oh, have to adjust when the new balls come out as they did here they'll fly a little more have to control those ground strokes and possibly aim a bit shorter in the court to compensate for that it's a good snap for since pass more cross court in this third set it's obviously safer higher percentage ah! Roger's reputation, but he doesn't fear it. 15 
movement on a tennis court is exceptional. It's not just good, it is beyond good. I mean, he hits shots and you think he's in trouble and he just gets across there, keeps himself in the rally, great balance, doesn't overcommit. Tiebreaker before the last service game is done. Especially in a situation like this. This is out. Has to be out. Roger knows it. Stefanos knows it. And we're going to have two set points here. 15 points here. Mr. Federer has two challenges remaining. Great points at last for Tsitsipas. Takes a two sets to one lead. Fifteen love. his mind quiet enough. 40 lane. It would appear at the start of the fourth, he certainly can. Oh, wow. good. how good is that? Future, I'd say, but they may not have a choice. You rarely see something like that, do you, from Roger? It's got a whole lot more complicated in his mind than it was at the start. It just keeps coming back. Sitsipas challenges, but it appeared out to us, didn't it? Right Definitely out. out. He apologised for the miss hit because he thought initially it landed in. He goes ahead with the challenge, but I think you'll find this is wide. He wanted it to be in. He's 
going to get some chances. He's going to get very close. Is he going to be good enough to take them? to a secret compartment in his bag of tricks right now, Federer, to keep himself just competitive. I mean, that is a shot you'll see maybe on a more. grass court, maybe on a clay court, but not often on a hard court. Sitsipas had the presence of mind there not to know the volley was coming at him too. Nothing spiteful, it was just the easiest way Fed could win the point. Stefan Edberg. Well, maybe not quite, but but he's awfully good at the net, isn't he, for a young player? He's greater than that. Convinced this is the emergence of the star we're seeing tonight. Not concerned about his back end anymore? No, I'm not concerned about anything. I think he's got the whole package. what it's taken at the moment. 15 0 Mr. Tsitsipas has one challenge remaining. wonders while we find out was it in was it out I saw a few nods in the box there saying they thought it was good it was in five millimeters in <coughs> well his serve has to keep him in it I mean I know the 
of course it can. But he almost, to me, looks like he's not favourite from the back of the court now, Roger. And he must serve well and just take those small opportunities when they arise. He appeared from nowhere. It looked like it was past him. Age defying leap. Can you believe we didn't have to buy a ticket to this? dangerous these close games are on your surf. <laughs> Normally he takes the pace off that one wide. He smokes this one though at 184. When you consider, if you think of Federer for a moment and, and what his chances are to or him. were before the start of tonight to win the whole thing, this puts a bit of a dent in it. Whether he, if he wins it, how much is it going to take out of him? And of course, he's a long way from doing that as well. Thank you. Thank you. If he wins it, it's going to take four and a half hours. Yep. But it's another visual memory of just how much it means to him, isn't it? This sport. These challenges, these youngsters have kept him young. He still has the depth of character and the depth of shot to turn this around, you feel. Oh. He's still thinking, backs off. Oh. And he had a good look at that and he's failed to find the target. Not something he likes to do, it's something he's been forced to do by this man's excellence. depth of desire just to force his opponent to play one more shot and he got the ultimate reward well that confidence there. again from city pass with the challenge he certainly pulls no punches on the challenges does he james kiothavon with a great overall Uh, the fitness of this 37 year old but his opponent with the younger legs just appears to be moving a fraction better now oh! just a bit 
more vitality. And once again, he comes through unscathed on serve. Perhaps cramps on their way, who knows? 15 years. But the implications are clear. If Federer can take this to a fifth set, he becomes prohibitive favourite again, you feel. legs is it precautionary from Tsitsipas or is it a preemptive strike to make sure that he doesn't cram but just when you want total clarity and you're thinking that maybe just has cluttered his thought process to some degree for the trainer marker it's hard to know what for and he's still moving to me pretty much the same as he was in the first set still serving at over 200 k's on his first serve same that's better timing from Roger not a lot of kick on that second serve if there's a if there's a small critique on it, and Federer finally times it. I think Roger's getting a little tired of the calling out in the stadium. It's a perfect response here from Federer. What he doesn't want to do is allow the 20 year old an easy service game. He wants to keep taking every ounce of energy out of those legs. Supplying himself well. But the lead was too substantial. He couldn't claw it back. It's 4 3, sits a pass, fourth set. Have a Grand Slam win came at Roland Garros against Carlos Taverna from Spain. That was also uh, an epic three hours and uh, 31 minutes just for four sets as well. That the only five setter he's had, he won against Donaldson at Wimbledon. Oh. 
but that's hardly the physical test that he's experiencing tonight, is it? Not even close. Already seven top ten, ten wins. wins for the Greek star. Fred just hit two lines there, just casually. Well, maybe, just maybe he has to win it in four, the youngster. Stan Wawrinka, the other Swiss superstar, was so close to taking his match to a fifth set against Milos Ranic, who was also physically struggling in the fourth set breaker. He was unable to do so. Thank you. Please. What does the future hold for Roger? Oh, oh magnificent. He hasn't had a good success rate when he's been on the baseline against the incoming Tsitsipas tonight. But this time he was more measured. He took his time. He didn't try to thrash the first passing shot. He just played for position. That one was good and that one better. Virtually every point here is five star. I mean, how was the forehand there that sits a pass hit and then Roger threads it down the line in that tiny Thank little you. gap that he had? Brightly, maybe out there. You can understand why this is three and a half hours of very physical tennis. He's within one game.
39. Ivan Lubicic looking intently on at Tsitsipas. Maybe trying to gauge whether the Greek 20-year-old is really tiring. Hiding it well if he is. Entourage up. Thank you. Players are ready. Steps like, can't you? Or can you? Both players probably. Pass holds here. Federer has to win this fourth set in a breaker at the very least. Yeah, yeah, such is the case. Perilously close. Here he wants to finish it now. Someone's praying. Wait, please. match hanging in the balance here he just subconsciously he has the presence of mind there to guess the right way on that short forehand the odds are against him right there and he just guesses and punches the volley beautifully Attached yeah. to this challenge 
then any chance a ball is going to be attached to the line. A margin of two points is still in it for Roger Federer here. tonight has he he hasn't been two points away from victory too many times tonight please <laughs> let's for service Yes, are we going to five? Six games over, tiebreaker. Both players receive one additional channel. It's a guess, and yes, we're going to five. Thank you. Ready, ready, ready. Two massive service points coming up here for Federer. play again from the Greek superstar. Thank you. See better tennis than this, I don't think. For all that I thought there in that rally, I thought he was almost gone, Federer, in that particular point when he produces that. Thank you. Please. asking the legend the ultimate question here. It's a pass. It's been a monumental shot tonight. Stephanos' sister 
who can barely watch. But you actually can't take your eyes off this. shot wasn't perfect was it it was too deep and he gives Sitsipas the chance to hit this with his running forehand should have made it thank you the coin kind of feel that immortality beckons for Sitsipas here tonight if he can win the next two points because he has been nothing short of sensational. Thank you. wide and it's not long someone in the crowd it I was the lines well. it was the lines person so if this is in they replay the point but it's not six five wow city bus mr federer has two challenges this is it mark just when he thought it Thank couldn't you. get any more dramatic Please. Stephanos, the great. 